Hello beautiful people, welcome to Home Tips with Mira. It's all about home tips, DIYs and home remedies. So today we are looking at a home remedy and that is steam bathing. What is steam bathing? It is subjecting your body to vapor under a blanket. So you can just boil water, add some, you know, few drops of either eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil. There are some essential oils that you use for steam bathing. So you just put some few drops into the water and you subject your body. You have to be naked. Subject your body to the vapor that comes out of the heat. Or you can as well boil leaves. And today I have access to neem leaves. So I'm just going to go out, get some leaves, and then I'll boil it and subject my body to heat. So let's take a quick break and when we come back i'll share with you some of the benefits that you can derive from steam bathing have you ever done a steam bath before while doing it how did you feel and after doing it how was the feeling well to me the benefits are enormous when i'm feeling feverish or i have cold or kata or i feel very fatigued and stressed i do steam bath and it helps me a lot it helps me to sleep so if you also do steam bath it will help you to sleep you know some people work so hard that at times they have a lot of things on their mind that they are unable to sleep during the night steam bath will also help you to sleep and you know some people work in offices and working in offices it means you are always you know in the air condition your body is always cold from the office you sit in your car there's ac in your car you go home there's also ac in your bedroom so you are in fact living in the ac throughout from time to time when you do this steam bath it helps you you know to kind of give a new sensation to your body it rejuvenates your body there are many different kinds of leaves that you can use for your steam bath you know our skin is the largest organ of our body with pores so what you subject your body to it enters directly into your bloodstream so even if you are using a certain kind of pomade just get to know that this pomade that you are using it will be absorbed into your bloodstream so i prefer using the neem leaves you can also use the scent leaves you can use the eucalyptus leaves you can use different kinds of leaves and your body will absorb all the vapor from these herbs and it will go directly into your blood stream so don't just think that you are under the vapor and it is not having any effect on your body so when you get your leaves boil them use a metal bucket put it on fire and use it to boil your leaves boil it for about 20 minutes please when you are boiling do not open it try as much as possible to close it and please do not use a cooking saucepan to boil it because I am using and they are very bitter so if you use a cooking saucepan to boil the leaves you are sure to have this bitter taste in it if you are to use it again to cook your meal so find something that you don't use to regularly cook and then you can use it to boil your leaves you can also add slices of lime or lemon to it you can also add ginger to it all enhances the medicinal qualities of the leaves that you are boiling in fact you have to be naked when you are doing steam bathing so that every part of your body can absorb the vapor so just get a chair that is not too high because you would have to bend so that your back does not ache and then you also try and get a towel and put it down before you put the chair on because uh, as you are going to steam bath sweat will drip off your body all those are the toxins that you know is coming out of your body they will drip and if you are your floor has towels when you get up there's a the possibility that you can slip and fall you bring your medicine come and put it on it and get your blanket please you just don't have to use any blanket you have to use a thick blanket so that the vapor will not escape so when you get under the blanket subject your whole body to the vapor and please a note of caution you have to close your eyes when you are doing the steam bath you don't have to let the vapor enter your eye Whew. we are ready to battle <laughs> this is the real deal so please as you go under the blanket do not fret do not be anxious because you are going to subject your body to heat okay so just relax think about some pleasant thing okay so once i open it i'm just going to go right under and i have a twig inside i'm just going to use it to stir it from time to time so that the paper 
can come out. If you are going to steam bath, you will dehydrate because the vapor is going to extract most of the water content from your body in the form of sweat. So you can decide to drink water at least 30 minutes before you go under the blanket to do a steam bath. And immediately you finish steam bathing. If you didn't drink water earlier, you might feel thirsty. I did that some time ago and my heart started beating very fast. So I would advise once you finish steam bathing and you feel thirsty, wait about 30 minutes and then your body will normalize. Then you can drink water. So I've been under the blanket for like 30 minutes and I think it's enough. You can decide to take the water to the bathroom, dilute it with normal water and use it to wash down. Leave it on your skin to dry. If you are in your room and you are seen bathing and the AC is on, kindly put it off so that the vapor from the steam can really work well. From time to time, please take some, you know, time off and steam bath to rejuvenate your body and to, you know, start your body's clock afresh. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please go on my YouTube page to subscribe for more videos and also on my Facebook page, follow me and share this video as well so that others who have not seen it or haven't learned will equally learn and benefit from it. It's a bye-bye from me and stay positive.